What's up, people? Rhyming. So, as you know, I am now accepted into the MBA program. Hooray! Oh, and this is the March announcements. So, accepted into the program. Hooray! Um, I just got the package today. So, here's my package saying, uh, it's pretty. I got an email first. And it's like you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this by tomorrow. Well, it's not that fast, but so yeah, I'm really excited. And uh, you know, again, you know, there's some things I know I cannot do. So when it happens, I'm kind of surprised. Like uh, what's an example? Uh, uh, oh, here's one. So today, today's Friday in Japan, was my last day of. Uh, this school year for this school year which you know sometimes the, technically the school year ends March 22nd or something but at this school it ended today cool thing I still get paid till March 22nd I just don't have to be at work yay now usually for the company so the company hires you they send you to the school when the school contract is over now usually for me the company lets me go and I go to another company. I go to another company. And that's what I've been doing for the past six years, seven years, whatever. I never stayed at the same company twice. And that's just how it is. I want to. It makes things easier. Because in between not having a job and having a job, you got to look for a new job, interview. And your mind is all over the place, you know. But this year, they told me like two weeks ago or three weeks ago, like, hey, we're going to rehire you if you want it. I'm like, Yeah. Yeah, so that I, that never happened to me. So I'm surprised. Like, wow, it's the first time. And this is I like the company I'm at. They they don't bother me. I don't bother them. Like I I don't do much. I go to school. Now this is after years of teaching, you know. So first year I was like, yo man, I want to get off on my birthday. I, I want to leave five minutes early. They're like, no. I'm like, come on, it's my birthday. Like, no. I'm like, come on, it's my birthday. Like I was going at it because I thought this was important and just like. So I was a problem. So contract end, eh, you can celebrate your birthday on another contract. The next year, we started off bad. You know, I walk into the office with my headphones on. Just walking through the thing, and she's like, why you got your headphones on? I'm like, I just walked through the office. And then every little thing, she was nitpicking at me, and then we just went down in flames. I was happy to leave at the end of that contract. And so on, all this little thing. So this year... You know, there's bigger fish to fry. So I, when we had some issues, I just kind of brushed it off like there's bigger things to do. Anyway, so as I was saying, that was surprising. Getting into the the MBA program, it wasn't surprising. I mean, I know where my brain's at, and I meet people, and I know what I can do. I'm not. I don't think I can get into Harvard. I'm not Harvard material. I'm not Stanford. I'm not. That's that's not where I'm going with this school. You know, I went to many, many. I read a book. I read up. It was a target that was achievable for me. So I'm excited I got in, but it wasn't like that's my girlfriend. You know, she was like, "Oh, I'm so nervous." I'm like, "Don't be. <laughs> if I'm not nervous, don't be nervous. Just and if we don't get in, we don't get in. It's just whatever, you know. Um. So yeah. The Guinness thing, you know, a lot of people, oh, oh are, you, are you nervous? Like, oh, man, I, I freestyle. That's what I do. If I, you know, that, that's just my, the way I think about things. You know, get up on stage. Aren't you nervous? Ah, oh, man, shit, I've been doing this for a long time. And that's, that's a great place to be. So whatever you're doing, usually you get to those levels when you just kind of, when you just kind of, the when you get comfortable with yourself, I guess, you know, you, it's, it's only in new situations, and, and I'm going all over the place, but work with me here, in new situations where you're kind of frazzled, <laughs> things that you cannot control, things that you have never experienced, like rejection is rejection, I've been rejected, so I can walk up to someone, not any, I can walk up to people and like, hey, and they're like, no, and I'm like, oh, they said no. And then you get over it. Some people they just don't want to get rejected. They don't want to fail. They don't want to. They don't want to 
not succeed. So they never try, but then they never get that kind of uh, resolve, resilience. You know, at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. Rest in peace, Aaliyah. So yeah, um, so yeah, that's the NBA thing. I'm really excited, and I'll I'll talk more about it. I got to be careful now, you know. I I can't. <laughs> I probably got to make another channel. I'm probably gonna make a Vimeo channel, cause I, you know, I I got to separate and got the business side, ksh, got the rapping side. Ksh. Anyway, um, some big plans for uh, March. Just school, going to school. Um, I'm working on an album. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Website. I got a website I'm working on. Well, it's more for the music side, but you know, y'all was like, I want to hear you rap. I'll be over there working on it right now. Also, I got a project, another project that I can't even tell you anything about. It's so secretive, so secret, so 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 mysterious. Well, it's not mysterious. But it's a project where, in the event that I were to stop making videos, or I left Japan, or I died, I, just something like that, it would still benefit everyone. You know, it's something that it, it, and it would it would grow. And it's collaborative. It's uh, well, I don't want to give anything else away, but it is really, 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 really great. And I think a lot of people will like it. It's free. That's another thing. That's, so it's going to help a lot of people and it's going to be free. And uh, so I'm working on that. It's, it's a work in progress. So I think the first time you will see anything from it will be April-ish. End of, begin of May, April, whatever. Yeah. All right. So that's the announcements. Keep them short and simple. Now, what I wanted to talk about, I didn't make any videos. You know, I'm a black guy. And last month was Black History Month. And I didn't make any videos. I was going to. I was going to get in there and just start making a lot of videos and be like da 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 But then um, there was a clip. You can Google it. It was Morgan Freeman. And he was having an interview on uh, 60 Minutes. And the guy was like, so you don't like Black History Month? And Morgan's like, no. He's like, don't you want a month? He's like, no. Do you want a month? He's like, well, I'm not black. I'm like, and he's like, I'm not black, I'm Jewish. So, well, do you want a Jewish month? He's like, no, I don't want a Jewish month. He's like, okay, I don't want a black month. He's like, so when will, when will, uh, black, when will racism stop? He's like, when you stop talk, when, when you stop talking about it and you address it. So then, I like, preach on, brother. So I didn't make any videos about the Black History Month, and and I, I didn't. Because this would have been a perfect segue to talk about racism in Japan, but you know it's a it's a it's a touchy subject which I don't want to touch. Not because I I uh, I I'm, I don't have a basis for what I'm going to say or would have said, but it's just so we believe what we believe. The end. I could come up here with charts and data points, video and all this, and people would still say. Well, you know, that's the honey king. That infuriates me. The proof is right in your face. But, you know, and it's the internet. So even if you didn't, kind of like horror movies, you know? Well, there's a big blob coming and, and it's killing us. And I, no, it's not. You're crazy. Where's my cat? Where's my dog? Oh, look, there's a blob and they die. It's, by the time they realize it's going to be too late. And usually, this is how life works out. So they, they, they're very strong against. We don't like these kind of people. And then their daughter or son ends up marrying, having babies with those kind of people. And then you gotta address it right then and there. You gotta figure it out. But um, I don't know. It, it's like I, just the other day, I was uh, researching about all the videos that were ever made about racism in Japan the last year. Six hundred and forty-one. And I'm pretty sure that all 641 of those people, now let's say, let's say half of those, maybe the other 300 are not even related to, specifically to Japan. So let's say half of those, so 300 videos, that's almost one every day of the year talking about 
well, I, I don't think there's racism in Japan because blah, blah, blah. Or, oh, there's racism in Japan, blah, blah, blah. Or blah, 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 blah. But I'm pretty sure in all of these videos, here's some things that are probably true. One, they didn't watch each other's. Nah. It wasn't like, well, after watching 300 videos about racism in Japan, I would like to add to the conversation. No, nah, they're just, for the most part, it's them talking to the camera, to their respective crowd that watches them. In some cases, they're just talking to a camera, hoping to... <laughs> and here's the second reason. This is a big subject. You say racism in Japan, you're going to get views. <laughs> and views equal dollars for some people. Other people... They don't get that many views, but you know it's a it's, it's a hot issue where you're always going to get comments and and attention and all that. So th I think that's one of the reasons. All right, another thing. Um, most of the time, there's no solution. There's no there's no okay. So there is racism. There isn't racism. What are you gonna do about it? If you're against it, so there's no racism in Japan or wherever you live. This is a worldwide thing. There's no racism. How will you prove that so you can have something concrete to say there isn't none because A, B, C? Or there is racism, A, B, C. And then keep going. So what does that mean? This is my critical thinking class right here. So what does it mean? So there is racism. Who is it affecting? And what is the, the, the result of it in both directions? And then... And, critical thinking class. They said, if you're going to argue a point, you should argue on the other side. That way you're even. A lot of these are really, really biased. I'm a black guy. So, da, 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 da. I'm a white guy. Da, 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 da. Okay, now, could you imagine from the other side of the table? Nah, you, you didn't think that far. So, a, a good argument would have both of those. Um last year or two years ago, whenever I did, I proposed some way to test this, you know, let's pull out the cameras, because we're all vloggers, and but nobody jumped on board with that one, uh-uh, I'm like, okay, whatever, and that's it, I, but it, it bothers me to see, you know, fellow vloggers waste their time making videos, talking about the existence, and could you imagine if science worked the way that some vloggers work? Yes, we're going to go to the moon. We can go to the moon. We can't go to the moon. And they don't do nothing for the next 60 years. They're just kind of like, we can, 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 we can. Some other country would have flew their asses to the moon and it's like, oh, look, they did. I guess we could. You know, I think, for at least the vloggers, and this is, again, a world thing, um, people listen to us because we are on the ground. So, we kind of have responsibility to to help. Well, that's what I feel. So, you know, I don't want because you know, I don't know. I mean, it's one of those conversations. But a lot of people ask questions because they don't know the answer. And if you're telling them something that you don't know the answer, also, then it's like now they now they're less informed. It, if that, does that make sense? And yes, it is their responsibility to do that. But obviously, they're not going. They're not doing their due their due diligence. They're not doing their research. So, at least put it up their bias. Let them choose or whatever. And I know we're all biased in our analysis of things, myself included. But I rather just you know whatever. So um, last bit before I get out of here, um, there was a guy. He, um, he made a video about discrimination in Japan. And I commend him. I was like, wow. He, he's Japanese-American, I believe. He, uh, he made a video about it in school, teaching English. And he made it teaching discrimination. He showed a video about racism in America. Well, it wasn't racist. And uh, um, he asked the kids, you know, what do you think? And then his impression, or what he took away from that... And what